We spend so much time going to Disney World for other people that when Quincy asked me to put together my perfect day, my mind went completely blank. Well, we sat Breed Love down and we told him to really, really focus until he comes up with his perfect day. And he did. And it's weird. And we're doing it right now. This day is already starting off with an emergency. Quincy and I were both a little bit late. I'm here first. And we are trying to rope drop the most important attraction in all of Epcot. Yep, you know the one, you can say it. Say it with me. Ready? One, two, three. Impressions de France. Yes, that's right. <laughs> the other film in the French, in the France pavilion. Um, it only plays for a half an hour in the morning. We're not gonna be here tonight. This is our only opportunity to see this opening day attraction here in Epcot. So we've gotta make our way to the France pavilion now. I wonder where Quincy is. Just a dramatic start to the morning. Breedlove wants to start the day road dropping impressions to France, which is not a typical road drop strategy, but it is one. And the last impressions to France show ends at 9.30, just 30 minutes after park open. And there was a ton of traffic coming over here. So I've parked, it's 9.15. And I have to get all the way into the park and then all the way to the back of the park in France. I'm making the choice to cut across here. We're looking at the Figment Topiary. Take a right down. Ooh, we'll cut through. Look at this fun little new-ish shortcut in the gardens here. Of course the lines look like this the day that I'm in a mad dash to get to Impressions de France. Now the reason Impressions de France is so important to me today in particular is the fact that I knew it would be Quincy and I going together. So I felt like I was like, this is, as your friend, this is something I must make happen. And if the only way I can do it is by adding it to my perfect day, and that means you have to go because you're my date on my perfect day, so be it. It's 9.20, I see France. I think we're safe. Impressions de France is on the marquee. It says 13 minutes, which is longer than uh, it's after. 9.30. It's 9.25 and through the gates. I'm in the park. The posted times for Impressions de France ends at 9.30 a.m. But I think there's a chance that the last showing is a little after 9.30. But I'm not giving up hope yet. We're in luck. We have now 12 minutes going into Leal because this is part of the magic here. Mm, this looks like more than 12 minutes worth of line. Let's see if we can do it. I'm gonna get myself maybe a little coffee beverage because I want to demonstrate how you are actually allowed to bring this delicious French food into the theater and eat it while you watch Impressions to France, making it completely immersive. 9.30, I am in uh, World Showcase now. Just have to get through Canada and the UK, and then I'm in France probably enjoying impressions of France without me right now. I haven't heard from Quincy in a while. Uh, I'm nervous for both of us. I'm in this line. She's walking through a huge park. There she is. France. Out of breath. It is 9.34. So just if you're walking at full speed, about 10 minutes from the park gate to the very back of the park. All set up. I have our quiche, baguette, and two bottles of Avion. And we are expecting Quincy to appear any moment. <laughs> any moment. It says zero minutes. Ah! She's making it. She's making it. Past the beauty and the uh, bell and, and beast. <laughs> I know that guy. Areas and into my heart. Ladies and gentlemen, Quincy, just in time. You made it, you made it, you made it. Okay, here you go. There's your quiche, there's silverware underneath. Here is your bottle of Avion water, oh if you are able to carry. Here we oh, yeah. go, okay, because welcome to France in 1982. In 
Quincy's first impressions to Brooke. Is this your first? I think I maybe done it before. Did you? Okay, okay. I don't remember. Tell us, at, like, afterwards. Where do you want to do it? I'm not doing a weird stunt. We are allowed to be these in here, making this a fully immersive experience. At night, at the last, you know, for the last hour and a half, the park is open. Yeah. They play it again. And think about, like, bring a glass of We finished Impressions to France. What did you think? You're a genius. No. I think No, you are. Listen, have you ever wanted to sit in the pews of an ancient church while watching a, a rural French wedding from 1982 mm -hmm. while eating a quiche? Yes. Then Impressions to France is for you. And if you don't want to do that, then you just don't know you want to do that because it was great. Unfortunately, my quiche will have to be made out of mung beans, which is literally how they make fake eggs. <laughs> That's scary. So... But it was delightful. I have seen it before. I almost remembered when we were okay. riding in the flower cart. The flower cart brought yeah. you back. I was it like, was a oh, very, that's I a very memorable it. scene. I love that scene. But it's a very beautiful film, and I think a very like it's an underrated way to start your day for sure or end your day. That's the only times you can see it. Some might say psychotic. <laughs> <laughs> we're doing a lot of weird the stuff. The rest today. of the day is a nap. <laughs> Oh, you're a genius. Right? Wouldn't Go that be get great? a quiche, eat it in impressions. Be like, Go and take me, a nap. Could we look at a room at the boardwalk? At the boardwalk? Just like, for just a show nap. us. Just, yeah, just never to mind. A, a, okay, oh, we're going to just look at it a little longer. Yeah, we're just going to take a look at this room. Can you guys go? Yeah. <laughs> We're strolling through the UK now at a much slower pace than when I was in the UK earlier. Yes. Rushing to Impressions de France. And I think we're going to make a pit stop at Joffrey's Coffee and Tea Company. We love a perfect day, but I need caffeination any day. Yeah, oh, absolutely. <laughs> Whether it's, Caffeine is all yeah, part of it. It's, it's a key part. It's either that or we nap the whole rest no, of the day. Rosalie, you guys I, can pick. Yeah. Do you want to watch a video where we nap the whole day or where we just drink a little coffee and then do like so much fun stuff across so many different parks? I want to rope drop a movie. <laughs> <laughs> We've acquired our coffee. Yes. We both got cold brew with caramel, but with two different non-dairy milk varieties. Mine was oat milk. And mine was almond. Um, there's also soy <laughs> is also an option. You should tell us in the comments what your milk choice is. Are yeah. you team oat or team almond or raw? I'm not going to do a dissertation now on the, on the on concerns the... I have about soy milk, but what I will <laughs> tell you is that it is really delicious. Yeah. Of course it has to be the most delicious tasting one I to have, me. It is, I right. also agree, for a hot coffee, soy yeah. milk all the way. Yes. I do have my, oh, I have an issue with oat milk where for me in a hot coffee, yeah. oat milk tastes very much like chicken stock, oh. and no one has ever agreed with me on this. Oh, oh. <laughs> Oh no. No one has agreed. Oh, please don't implant this in my brain. I, it's okay. No I mean, one's ever agreed with me. So. <laughs> okay, okay. Oh my god. Quincy, have I ever told you about uh, the time when the oh, balloons... Went up and down? Is that what you were going to say? Yeah. <laughs> you have. Oh, I, I told you. Okay. <laughs> oh look. Living with the land. I'm glad it's a 15 minute wait because... <laughs> I know. We have to consume it. our coffee. Oh, look, a sickle! Oh, wow! Is that a the grim sickle? reaper? Right there? No. Here in Living with the Land? That's the grinning reaper. I think they're like little rubies. If you eat a whole one, your stomach will hurt by yourself. Too many antioxidants. Too many antioxidants. Oh. Uh, so it happens. Is that an art? All right. Also on We Love's spectacular list of things that we're doing today is Soren. 
one, but I think it has a really long wait. Look at We could do a 50. We can do 50. Do you want to do 50? Yeah. Let's do it. I'll set a timer up, but it's shorter. Yeah, we can play the trivia game in line. Ooh. Oh, wait. You know what? What? Is this still Soren over California? Yes. Okay, great. I was going to say, you're on your list it literally no, it's, said it's only if it's still over California. It's the countdown. It's the countdown. I mean, I love it around the world, too. But. It just wouldn't make it into my floor. Perfect day. day. So Soren is a simulator attraction where you ride in seats and soar, kind of like you're in a hang glider or airplane, high above different locations around the world if it is Soren around the world. However, originally when Soren opened, it was Soren over California, and it soared over different locations in California, including orange groves with an amazing orange smell that we all dream about when it's not here. But it's here right now. It is, and I just learned how the smell is accomplished. How? Have you heard? Have you, I haven't heard this. Okay. I'm scared. So this is part of my reporting job. It was my, my job to find out how they accomplish the scents in Sora, and apparently they are scent beads. Okay. They're held under each seat in little bags. Okay. Okay. Separated by scent. There is a tube inside of it, and air is blown through the, 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 scent, the, the beads. scent beads. So what you're getting is air with essence of fragrance, as opposed to. Uh, aerosol liquid fragrance like which a LaCroix which could, which, could, <laughs> which could potentially you know get on you or yeah. you could inhale it and it could cause allergies this is less, just, less likely to do that it's just air that is scented by uh, beads which are made by an industrial air freshener company and um, it's really cool that's so cool let's go smell that bead air let's do it Napa Valley is just north of where I grew up in Marin County California this is like your origin story. This is my, that's why it's part of my perfect day. We made it, it's like 15 minutes. Yeah, 15 minutes On the minutes nose, exactly. pretty much. Which wasn't bad. Which is not bad. I'm, should I use the loop <laughs> today? Yeah, I think you should. For fun. You don't want to fall out. No. home safely. I flew it. I what flew a, the what, plane. What a nice hang glider. Yeah. Was very, it, was it a plane? Uh, no, I have oh. no idea. Well, it was nice and I I've always safe. assumed it was a hang glider, but then it, it, that doesn't really make sense with the whole Patrick Warburton thing. Oh, you're right. It isn't. You know, it's like a plane. <laughs> Brila, I, I called the janitors to perform just for your perfect day. Stop it. Yeah. You this is dedicated to you. I hired the janitor. Okay, janitor. so it'll be completely socially acceptable when I jump in front of them and do a performance art dance. Exactly. <laughs> wow. <laughs> All right, we have made it to Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind, which is Brie Love's favorite ride in Disney World. It's my favorite ride, I think, anywhere. You know, I think it's also my favorite. Yeah. Like, there are nostalgic factors for some other stuff, yes. but I think if you want to talk about actually the best ride, I think it's this. And I think it has nostalgic factors in it. They play for the sure. theme song to Universe of Energy, which they was sure do. in this building, well, two rides ago. It was <laughs> Energy Adventure when it closed. Uh, so many, I'm not going to go on a <laughs> dissertation. You can Google it. <laughs> But this one, uh, this one's really awesome. It is a roller coaster that is called an Omni Coaster. It sort of swings you around in circles as you ride, and it's Guardian of the Galaxy themed. It is a blast. There are six different songs you can get on the ride. And what song do you want? I want September. We are getting September because it is Brie Love's perfect day. I want Conga because I. It's the only song I haven't. You haven't gotten, gotten Conga? Oh, I've this so many times. Wow. The. Only way to ride Guardians of the Galaxy right now is either with a virtual queue or using an individual lightning lane, which is a paid skip the line offering. The virtual queue drops at 7 a.m. and 1 p.m. and 6 p.m. on nights that there are extended evening hours for those guests only. And it is typically, I would say, like a 30-ish minute line to ride in the virtual queue. Yes, for, for, uh, for this ride, yep. Tron, which is 
which is usually like an, an hour. hour to sometimes 90 minutes. Yep. You and I have been through this training a few times, but oh, no. <laughs> be careful. Qualify. Be, beware. Beware of the. Octagonal, half 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 Jug point now? Doesn't that mean the whole ride's over already? Yeah, I think it's done. We just went through it. We made it off Guardians. Uh, we did not get one of Brie Love's uh, requested songs. That's However, okay. we did get a song that's significant to both of us. Having your favorite was made yeah. perfect. That was my favorite song, and it is the first the first time I got that song, and the first time that Brie Love and I actually rode together Guardians before the ride even opened. Like, you know what we I got mean? that song. Yes, that's right. And what I would like to do, though, is perform the song uh, Conga right now okay. for you. So I'm gonna go. Oh wait, so you're we, going up there. I'm gonna go here where okay. I want to switch it. No, that's a good idea. Bam, come on, shake your body, baby, do that conga. Don't you think the rhythm is getting stronger? Come on, shake your body, baby, do that conga. Don't you know the rhythm is getting stronger? Bam, 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 bam. Come on, shake your body, baby, do the conga. Wow. Hey Quincy, where's your water bottle? So here's the thing, Frieza. Mm -hmm. I left it at home today. Oh. On purpose. Okay. Because this is your perfect day. Yes. And you are anti reusable water bottle in Disney World. <laughs> I know and that's so <laughs> awful. The vegan is He's like pro paper cup. Disposable cu paper, paper cup, cups. But recyclable. Yeah, they are. Yeah. Paper cup, free water. Yes. That's what you are pro. So I've mm -hmm. decided that because it's your perfect day, I'm going free water, soft ice today. That, well, I'm a little mean? parched. Well, let's do it. Is this a good water spot? This is a great water spot. All right, this is a location where if you walk up to the mobile order pickup and ask nicely, they'll provide you with a water cup, and then you are able to serve yourself at one of the soda machines. And indeed, this is a location with soft ice. Because it's my perfect day, I think it's very important we have some soft ice. I agree. <laughs> Bailey just handed me these water cups. She has the second star to the right tattooed the same or similar place <laughs> that I do, which means we are best friends. <laughs> Thank you so much. Have a, great day. have a great day. Do you know how to use the ice dispenser? I do. Okay, get that beautiful soft ice. Uh -oh. All right. Here it is, the Water tasting, tears. the moment of truth. Pretty good water. It's pretty good water, right? Good and water. do you want to try the ice? Yeah. Or is there a natural way to do that? I don't want to force you. Mm. Wow. <laughs> I'm sorry. Now Epcot is only our first of three parks today, so this is actually our final ride in Epcot. And what better way to say goodbye to Epcot today than with Spaceship Earth? <laughs> We said we're saying goodbye to Epcot. We are saying goodbye to Epcot. We're headed towards the back of the park now because we're gonna exit through International Gateway, which is at the very, it's the back exit of Epcot, and hop on the Skyliner to head over to Disney's Hollywood Studios, location two of, of today and, and one of the regular ones, and then we get weird. <laughs> We made it to the Skyliner. We made it to the Skyliner. <laughs> Okay, 
Okay, we made it. We're making a pit stop. I, I, this is the secret kind of Joffrey's location in the middle of the day if you're using the Skyliner stop here. And they have a specialty drink. They do have a specialty. Latte. Yeah, the toffee flight. It's a it's themed a, a Skyliner themed latte. So we're gonna get some uh, some more coffee. He's Spaceship Earth right wiped me yeah, out. Were, it literally Dame Judi Dench's voice. She was like a lullaby. Hollywood Studio. Have you ever reviewed that hotel? The Hollywood that Tower one? Hotel? Yeah. You know, I tried to. Yeah. And I got in the elevator to go up to my room. Yes. And there was this, like, storm. Oh. And I ended up... You're going to think this is... You're going to think no, this is... No, 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 tell me. Well, I ended up in this, like, void. And there was a giant eye blinking at me and, like, a clock that never ended. Mm. Um, and then the elevator, like, really went wild. Uh-huh. And I got super confused, discombobulated, and I ended up just... Waking up laying in the street outside the hotel. Okay. So I need so. to try again. All right, we're strolling down Hollywood Boulevard. Can you, there's no way that you can see the wait time from here. It well, looks we're, like 55. I think it's 55. We're between um, eating right now or riding, and I think we ride. Yeah, let's ride. I think ride. we finish our coffees in line. Coffee, exactly. And then we can eat after. Let's I, do it. That sounds great. The line will continue to move, however, the wait time may be longer than originally stated. Yeah, twice as long. Only one tower is operational. That means it absolutely doubles the wait time. This is a really scary ride. Very scary ride. It's been an hour. <laughs> it's been an hour. Everything's very dusty in here. It seems dustier than usual. <laughs> Ooh, that is nice. So many diamonds. 13 diamonds. Oh, it's a 13 diamond. <laughs> That's great. I never saw that. Oh my gosh. Amazing. I think it would have been longer than an hour, but we were lucky in one of the, t the tower that was down was back, Went back up. up and running. Yep, so about an hour. That's cool. Yeah, that's your perfect good. day. It's I, my I perfect called day. and I told them. Thank you. I said, get that second tower up. It's Breed Love's perfect day. Thank you. Stat. Oh, wow. Well. that are actually referencing specific episodes of Twilight Zone. The glasses, someone out there is gonna know. Most unusual camera found in room 1216. Luggage found in lobby. Is that an airplane back there? Is that is. Toy plane found on the west. And then that's all like. And it's in the west wing because that's where good ones are on the beach. So I got that to Oh my gosh, you're a genius. That's my favorite Twilight Zone episode. Yeah, they definitely got a new tower up. Maybe we should have eaten lunch. Although I think it wouldn't have, now I think I'm, the timing wouldn't have lined up. I, I agree. I think we would have ended up maybe skipping it because we wouldn't have gotten in line while the tower was down. I think you're right. So it was good the way we did it. And what a great ride. What a great ride. We had a blast. We love Tower of Terror. When you... When you when the when the elevator door opens and your car begins to drive out of the elevator shaft through a haunted room yeah. into another elevator shaft and then starts to drop. Do you ever think to yourself, this was probably really irresponsible to do in 1994? <laughs> Because I do. I, I don't, but I, I, I could. Yeah. I see it. Right? Yeah. I think, like, my favorite thing now is I love a fake out, which we got this time. Yeah, we got a great Which is out. where it... Oh, look! Mini water art. Love it. Um, which is where the ending screen will start playing and then it will shoot you back up anyway. 
which is pretty spectacular. Yeah. We're headed to Sunset Ranch Market, which is a number of different dining locations in Hollywood Studios, all quick service, all outdoors, with lots of covered seating, semi-covered seating. We're headed to Rosie's All-American Cafe for a very specific plant-based item here, which is Reed Love's favorite item yeah, so anywhere in Disney World. I'm obsessed with this meal. I mean, it's like... Uh, it doesn't get better. And I've yeah. I've never had it, which I'm pretty jazzed about time. because I think I'm gonna like it a lot. So it came with a side of chips. This is the I uh, love these chips. The plant-based lobster roll. Rosie's chips are the the pips. Yeah, that they are. Alright, I'm trying this out. Okay, the moment of truth is upon us. Mmm. It's really good. It's really good, right? Mm -hmm. You know what's crazy is it's artichoke hearts, right? It's yeah, hearts of palm, yeah. Hearts I mean, of palm. It's hearts of palm, yeah. Which is it? Same vibe. It. Same vibe. You can get the flavor of the hearts of palm for sure, which I actually really like. What's wild to me is that this doesn't have mayonnaise. Yeah. Right? Vegan mayonnaise is great. This is insane. It's like yeah. it's like it's super mayonnaisey. Yeah. It's so delicious. It's got a really nice like paprika y kick to it. Mm -hmm the super soft hearts of palm in there that do have a texture a lot like lobster. And I, I love the amount of like green onions, chives on it. Mm -hmm. It's like a really balanced sandwich mm -hmm. situation. Yeah. And I really love it. I don't know that it's passable as a lobster roll, but I think it's really nice to get all of those flavors. And I actually think oh, I might prefer the flavor of the hearts of palm to lobster. Mm, so whoa. I'm a fan. This is delish. That's a, that's a hot take and I, hot I'll take, take it. We decided to I'll share. take that take. That's exactly how I eat it. I eat it as a dip. So I take the chips and I eat almost the entire uh, topping, the filling off of the top. So it's completely just cleared. And then I eat the rest with the sandwich. And then you get the really buttery flavor of the bread. It's mm. actually buttered with vegan butter. Mm. And can I tell you the secret ingredient? Yes. Can you guess it? No very finely diced apples. That's interesting. Isn't that cool? Yes, that's really cool. They don't stand out as apples, they just add to the overall. It. There's like an acidity. A little acidity and up. sweetness, and yeah. it's just really. It is, you're right, it's a killer dip. That's it's a killer is. dip. It's a killer dip with really delicious bread that is buttered with vegan butter and a delicious side of chips that are house made right here. And I think the best on property. I, I would agree with that. These chips are amazing. Well, Quincy, we're leaving Hollywood Studios. We are leaving Hollywood Studios. Do you know why? I I do know why. Oh, you do? <laughs> Did you read the shot list? I read the shot list. Oh, okay. I know okay. that we're going to our third park of the day. We are, but do you know where we're going? Yeah, I don't think you do. I don't think you do. I don't think you'll even guess. <laughs> it's like a public park. Unless you follow me on it's Instagram. Just like, and it's just I like downtown Orlando public yeah, park. Yeah, we're going to walk around the river. <laughs> I'm going to go walk around the swamp. It's going to be so park. lovely along the river. If you want to learn even more about how to have the perfect day in Epcot, scan the QR code on the screen now. Everyone on the All Ears team shared their version of a perfect day, and you can have those itineraries sent directly to you. So, you may notice that we are no longer on Disney property. That's true. Uh -huh. We did say we were going to another park. No right turn. Yeah, we're gonna have to turn left and then do a U-turn. What? What is this. going on? What is that thing? Um. Yay, yay! This is the attraction. It's called the oil, oil ma maker. machine. Oil machine maker. <laughs> heard the music say Horizons, so is that why you like mm -hmm. it here? <laughs> <laughs> new Horizons for you and for me. Here we go! This is a new Horizon. A horizon, for me. brand new. I've never been here. Okay, I already have shortcuts for SeaWorld. Oh, I always no. go through the SeaWorld store. I think the theming here is really cute. Like, it's definitely. It feels small, uh -huh. you know, but I kind of like that. Me too. First impressions I, are good. And during the week, it's very slow. You can see, like, there's hardly anyone around. We are obviously here at the very end of the day. Here so to ride one, one ride, one reason one ride. only, and that is Mako, which I think Ooh. is the best roller coaster in Orlando, in my opinion, even better than Velocicoaster. I'm excited. That's Mako. There it is, there it is, there it is! Ah! That's gonna be us. It's gonna be us so soon. Here we are, Mako posted five minute 
This is amazing. Taking Quincy to a theme park she's never been to before, showing her how to get there. This is like, this is so cool. So Quincy, yes. look around that corner really fast. Do you see that hill? Yeah. That's how the ride starts. <laughs> Quincy has strapped on her body cam. Yeah. And um, I've taken off my hat and uh, we're, I'm putting my phone to the side. Um, so this is body cam only. See you on the other side. <laughs> Amazing, yeah. When you're here in the in the in the nighttime on a weekday, I've had this experience before. Well, they will let you. You don't have to go through on. the queue again. Yep. Skip if there's like people waiting for your row. You have to get out and Which move to another do row. Which you at Disney and Universal too, but it's just a lot rarer because the exactly. never that no one's exactly. But I loved it. I thought it was a fantastic roller coaster. We love said when we got on, it's elegant, and it yeah. definitely was elegant. Um, you get a lot of airtime, like a lot of airtime. Yes. And um, that first hill is just. And it's here's what I love about it yeah. is that it was so 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 thrilling yeah. without being um, volatile. Exactly. Like it was like I was so thrilled. I was like, oh, like it, it was, only felt good. It, but it feels good. Like kind of no, like Cosmic Rewind. Kind of like Cosmic Rewind. There's no G forces or anything like that, which is like I black out on roller coasters where I like lose my vision, which uh -huh. is usually not a big deal unless I get a headache after. But this one, none of that happened. It was like it was like as thrilling as something like Velocicoaster oh like Hulk. Look at our picture. <laughs> I'm, I'm grabbing That's, the camera. Definitely. You were you were you were good at two. I That's could have you. gone until they got me yeah, off. Yeah, I have a weak system. And, and I'm sensitive to like Rip Ride Rocket that, and Universal. But that one is so it's just so smooth, it's so fast, and you yeah. get so much air time, it's so thrilling. It's so thrilling. Um I, I loved it. I also think it's not too long, but it's not yeah. too short either. That was a great coaster. Uh, it's a great coaster. Oh You're looking at the wrong hat. Oh, we both have our dream hats here. Yours comes with clip-on yeah. sunglasses. They clip into the hat. Oh my gosh, that is choice. Uh-oh, this this one, uh-oh, this one. It's 7.01, one minute past park close. And unfortunately, we're not gonna be able to check out something that I did wanna show you, which is a very cool attraction that's a collaboration between Disney World and SeaWorld. No way! And it is an initiative that they are collaborating on um, for, because there's an emergency, basically. In Southern Florida, all of the coral is, is dying from uh, something called stony coral disease. I think I read about this. Yes, and it's a huge problem because coral is our first line of defense for our coasts against things like hurricanes and anything that sort of erodes the coastline, which is a huge concern in Florida because it's already a narrow state. And all of this talk of, oh, it's gonna fall into the water someday and people are like joking about it. But this is, this is really, really, really serious. The coral does so much to protect and it's so important for the whole ecosystem of our oceans. Yeah. So Disney and and SeaWorld figured out how to grow this coral. 
That's so cool. And they have like nurseries That's and you can neat. visit one here and watch the coral actually wow. growing. I did it, so we have some some footage of it. I just think it's so amazing to be able to come here and experience not only a collaboration with Disney, it makes me feel so great about like the theme park community in Orlando, but also to see both of them doing so much good yeah. for our planet. And our state. And We're our right state, here, right, right here. Just because SeaWorld is closed and we're missing out on that attraction yes. does not mean that Relo's Perfect Day is over. No. In fact, we have a very special place that we're going that is very special to us personally, and we are very excited to take you along. Oh my gosh. Back in the direction of Disney. Oh, this is back in the direction. An, an of evening of opulence from, evening a, from, of a, opulence. from a sophisticated, uh, coaster? luxurious coaster to Too a nice. dining experience for oh. the. Books. Books. Where are we? We're at you and me revolving hot pot. And it's you and, and me. me. And that's revolving hot pot. I'm very jazzed about this. You and me revolving hot pot. It is a at dinner time, all you care to enjoy. Self there's hot pots in your table of broth and you cook meat from the meat bar if you're me or you get veggies off of the conveyor belt yes. a robot takes you to your table yeah. this is um a breed love and quincy favorite this is, this is the, oh, we've there's, there's the yeah that's the cat Ooh, robot the cat. we've been here many 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 times and we absolutely love it and um it is six minutes from disney springs and only a six to eight dollar uber go, go, go. Just our wonderful journey together with you. Our wonderful journey together. Here we are. Thank you. to serving you next time. Thank you so much, Peanut. Wow. Peanut's a star. Don't be upset with me too much. Oh, Peanut, how could we ever be upset with you? about hot pot wrong and all of this is going in there and it's not supposed to follow how quincy does it she makes I do. one little sauce and she dips i put it all in here do as i say not as i do the cat robot's right behind me oh my gosh my beef i guess so yes another great thing about you and hot pot is their bubble tea it's amazing and delicious. They have a lot of different options. This is a super fruit tea, and I love it because it has these chunks of fruit in it that are super chewy, kind of like gummies. It's just so delicious and balanced. All right, I've done it. I've added all my ingredients to my brew. Well, let's we'll start with original broth. Yes. We love getting the vegan. Yes. Me not getting vegan. I right, then go get three meats and three meats only because I am Poor. You are keeping that as far away from me as humanly possible yeah, on the table. On the you don't have point. to do that. <laughs> I love you. I get the fatty beef, shrimp, and the scallops. There's lots of meat options. There's like fish balls and clams and mussels and oysters. Like there's so many meat options. And um, fried tofu skin. Fried tofu skin. <laughs> and then I build a sauce from scratch that is a lot of hoisin, chili oil, scallions, cilantro, peanuts. Um, and then they, right now, usually I just toss garlic in there, but right now they have a, they have a sweet garlic sauce that I tried and I really like. That's a big base in this right now. And then I cook all my stuff in here. I put my sauce in my bowl and then I kind of mix it all together and it makes something that I would say tastes like dreams. Oh, okay. I yeah. love that. Yeah. That's a good... Also, this backdrop is literally the best thing I've ever seen in my life. And I love that everything, almost everything, is served in a heart. So the pricing here is about $29 for all you can eat hot pot. It's amazing, it's done at your table, so it feels like super interactive. But for a reference, Sebastian's Bistro, which is probably the cheapest all you can eat restaurant at Disney property, is $38 per person for dinner. Um, so you could come here 
for the price of the Uber for your whole family, even if you had one person, it would be the cost of Ubering here and eating here and for better food. I mean, Sebastian's is delicious, but I just think this hot pot is so stand out. It's such a fun experience. I know it's a big ask to say, hey, leave Disney property because the bubble's really powerful, but we have and do regularly. Yeah, the right way to do hot pot, and this is the, the wrong, way. wrong way to do hot pot. But I believe it's ready to eat now. Quincy's already I've had, had like three a full bowls. meal. <laughs> oh this, is, this is not beautiful. going well. What do you mean? It's going great. It looks beautiful. Your your soup, your broth looks beautiful. Oh, <laughs> and there's the meat. <laughs> and then you your added the meat rolls. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I am now gonna try what I've been cooking for the last seven hours. Wow. I put both peanut sauce and ground up peanuts in this, and it's very peanutty in a way that is sending me to my happy place. Did you know one time my tooth disintegrated while eating a Twizzler on an airplane? Have I ever told you that story? It happened. Wait, the problem is that it's 9 p.m. and I have got to stop eating or I'm gonna have some serious issues tonight. And, and I have to take my medication before bed. But Basically, is... we're creating a world of pain for us. Yeah. Oh my gosh. She's just like a real cat. Yeah, if you pair too much, she gets grumpy too. She gets grumpy? She oh does. my gosh, I love it. And of course, my perfect day ends Taking Daisy to the park after we've been. What are you eating? Are you eating things in the dark? Are you tricking me? Get that out of your mouth, young lady. Ugh. Well, it was a perfect day, and it's even more perfect now because I'm reunited with my Daisy. If you like this video, go ahead and like and subscribe. And now go watch the All Ears crew play an epic game of Trivial Pursuit in Disney World. See you next time.